next step in our project is to perform assignment to perform the traffic assignment we're gonna need two things to perform the assignment a map that contains the network and the network file the .NET file and the matrix that total matrix that we generated in this case we have around 8,800 uh, trips. If you don't know how to display these marginals, it's you just can just come here in matrix properties, choose sum. You can choose the decimals. You can format it the way you want. There you go. Uh, and to perform the assignment, you have to go to planning, single class traffic assignment. If the planning doesn't show up, you can go to procedures, show all, and it will. See that planning single class traffic assignment doesn't show anything because I'm on the wrong uh, layer. Let's choose highway streets, highways and streets, planning, single class traffic assignment, traffic assignment. Here, first we have to choose the delay function we're going to use. We're using VPR function. We're going to use user equilibrium, the matrix file is the only one we have open. The matrix is the total matrix. Time is A, B time, B, A time. Capacity, A, B capacity, B, A capacity. Alpha and beta, this, these are the standard values. And remember, time and capacity, they have to be updated. If, you I'm not, if you're not sure that your .NET file, this one that shows up over here, is up to date, you better create a new one otherwise your results do not correspond to your actual network so uh, the instructions tell you to use 50 iterations and 0 0.1 as relative gap in practice uh, the, the, the best practice today says to use 10 to minus 3 at least as convergence 10 to minus 4 and 10 10 to minus 5 would be uh, the ideal. So let's choose 10 to minus 4. Uh, in practice, you might not be able to reach this type of convergence, this type of convergence using this assignment method for big networks, but that's a more advanced discussion. Let's choose 50 iterations, 0 0.10 to minus 4. The BPR parameters are here, capacity and time is set up. Let's go to options. Options. You can create themes and all the theme maps and this save this saves you some time uh, later. Let's choose do tabulation and uh, we're not gonna not gonna do anything else here. There are other options but uh, let's let's leave it this way press OK press OK again now we have to save our files and to save our files we can choose a new folder to do it let's say uh, let me navigate to my my folder here Outputs. I'm going to make a new folder called Assignment Results. Press OK. So there are assignment results. If you already have files there, you can press Overwrite All Files and it's going to overwrite. Press OK. We've got Verge. Let's show, let's see the report. The report is that old XML file that we already know. If we click the first line procedure, it converged after five iterations to 10 to minus 4. And here we have total VMT, total VHT, and the objective functions, the relative gap, how, how fast it converged, and uh, 
think that's pretty much it that it's interesting here. How much is the total demand? How much was intrazonal? Let's close this guy here for now. Close. And now we already have a map of flows just because we chose that option, create theme. It creates the color theme, that is how busy are my links, how is the volume uh, volume capacity relationship varying from 0 to 1.8 and the thickness is your actual flow. So now you have uh, a map. If you format the legend a little bit, you have a pretty good map to present. You can use some la some labels to identify the flows and and you have a good map for your report. Good luck.